If you are studying for the FAA Instrument Pilot Knowledge Exam, you might be using a book something like this and seeing that there are a fair amount of questions in this book that talk about figuring out our calibrated airspeed that is needed to be maintained to hold your filed true airspeed. And then the questions give you some different airspeeds um, are some different uh, temperature settings and different altitudes. So if you're wondering how to do that and you have this metal E6B like I've got here, uh, the test question book often just says to use an electronic flight computer. Well, if you don't have one, uh, this is a handy skill to have and it's pretty simple. So let's talk through that today because that'll help you as you're studying for your instrument pilot knowledge exam. So I've got one of the example questions showing here. We have FAA question and the number is basically irrelevant, but we have asking the calibrated airspeed that has to be used to maintain our filed true airspeed of 180 knots. And then it talks about the planned altitude. So the questions don't really say that it's pressure altitude. We just have to infer that. So we are going to take that and infer that since it gave us a flight altitude of 8,000 feet, we're going to assume that that is the pressure altitude and all the questions that I've seen are like this. Similarly, we need a temperature to figure out this information and the problem doesn't really say outside air temperature correction or anything. So we're just going to use what happened with the question that says it's eight degrees Celsius. Okay. So, now we can use our E6B with this information. So we have a pressure altitude that was given, although it didn't exactly say that. And then we have an outside air temperature in the question that was given. So the main thing that uh, at first confused me when I was looking at these questions is like, I have a lot of stuff going on on my E6B. Uh, what window is the one that matters? And so I I put a little sticky on here so you can see that it is on this computer. We have something that says airspeed correction. Um, I'm going to show you a picture. Here's the airspeed correction. And we want the window that is adjacent to that on this, on this type of flight computer. Um, so it's actually this window here. I'll draw a little arrow. So this is the window that we are concerned with here with figuring out this type of question. We can zoom into that view and see it says that we're going to do is just set our pressure altitude opposite degrees Celsius in the window. Okay. And um, so I am going to show you really quick on a video how you can do that. So I've got my flight computer here and we're going to take a look at how we use this little window that we have indicated that is right above the airspeed correction. So in this question, it talks about setting 8,000 feet on the bottom. That's our pressure altitude in thousands of feet. And we're going to set that opposite my eight degrees Celsius on the, <clears throat> the air temperature right there. And if we'll bring the camera into focus here, there we are. Um, you can see that we have set up 8,000 feet. We can just adjust that slightly to line up eight degrees opposite 8,000 feet. If we count over on the marks, we can see that the pressure altitude is 8,000 feet. So three marks over from five and lining that up with eight degrees air temperature shown opposite the scale. And then I just go to my outer ring and that is where I'm going to see true airspeed. So 180 knots is what it asked us. What was our calibrated airspeed to maintain? And we read opposite 180 or 18 is what it says on the outer scale. We can read it at 157 ish. The question actually is 157.4, which they've gotten by using an electronic E6B. I hope that tutorial is helpful to you as you work on your instrument knowledge questions. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like this video. I am posting more content. Would love to see some suggestions of what else I can talk about that would be helpful to you as you learn knowledge about aviation.